Hey guys, it's Kim Dao here. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've vlogged, so decided to do a vlog today. I'm going to my parents' house now because I'm going to be doing a live stream on Twitch with my dog Yuki. Now, if you guys didn't know yet, I am live streaming on Twitch now. I do it at least twice a week. Sometimes I just do random um, chats with you guys, chill times. Sometimes I play games. Sometimes I do my makeup on stream as well. So if you guys want to catch one of these streams, then make sure you follow me on Twitch. It's just linked down below. Twitch.tv slash Kim Dow. So yeah, I have been streaming on there quite often. It's been really fun. We've got a really great community on there. So we'll be doing that today. And then after, I'm going to have to go around my parents' place to hunt for a camera charger because I've got a photography job uh, for this weekend, except I can't find my camera charger because it's been a while since I used my big camera. And then after that, I thought I would just like vlog around my parents' house for a bit. At night time, I have my friend's surprise birthday party, so we are gonna go, um, yeah, and just celebrate with her. So it should be a good day. Let's start. Okay, so I just heated up some food and it's my dinner from last night. So that's gonna be my lunch. I made pad thai yesterday and then I'm just gonna squeeze some lime on top for extra flavor for my pad thai. Yes, to squeeze it on top. Just going to quickly eat my lunch because my live stream is due to start in about half an hour and I have to drive to my parents' place. So yeah, let's eat and then head over. By the way, I just want to tell you guys, um, I didn't make my bed, but I got some new Harry Potter bed sheets and these are from Pottery Barn uh, PB Teen. I've been eyeing these for ages, but I didn't buy them because they were quite expensive. I believe they came out like sometime in November last year, but they just went on sale. I I think they were like 25% off so I took the chance to grab them. They were expensive because I had to pay for a shipping service from the US and then I had to pay for shipping which was like over $50 but I think it's so worth it. So it came with this blanket and it's so warm guys. I love it because it's getting really cold right now in Australia and then I also got this bed sheet right here. So they got little head wigs on it. The velvety set came with pillowcases as well so yeah, I love these Harry Potter bed sheets. They're so comfortable. All right, I better go now because I scheduled the stream to start in about half an hour and it takes about half an hour to get to my parents' house. I just finished the stream. We went off to the dog park and yeah, I streamed the whole time. It was really fun. Yuki is so tired right now. Let me show you guys. She's like falling asleep. Oh no, she's awake. Hi girl. Do you want to come into my bed and sleep? Come on. I'm going to try and hunt to find my camera charger. Yuki here. I think she's just gonna jump up here. Come here. Okay, I think she's just gonna go to sleep. Now the thing is, after I moved out, um, my parents cleaned up my room a whole lot. So I don't really know where anything is. So, um, I still have a lot of my stuff here as you can see. A lot of my old clothes are still here. And I actually still have to um, organize what I'm gonna sell because I've got a lot of Liz Lisa clothes which I'm not gonna wear anymore. I'm probably not gonna wear them but someone else might. Oh. Okay, I just found this. Oh, I just found this, guys. This is actually a scrapbook that I tried making when I first went to Japan. So maybe, do you guys want to have a look at it? Look at her. She is so exhausted. You okay, girl? Do you want to give me a hand? Can you give me a hand? No. Why are you ignoring me? Can you give me a hand? She's so tired. Okay, so the first time I went to Japan, I didn't think that I'd be able to go back so soon. I thought that I would only be able to go back after like five years or so. So what happened was when I went to Japan the first time, I literally kept every single receipt, every single brochure, pamphlet. I decided that I was going to do a scrapbook when I got back to Australia and that never happened. But I kept everything um, really organized actually from day to day. So let me show you guys. Um, and relive my very first trip in Japan. I guess I can make the video about that. So this is a scrapbook that I bought. I started doing the scrapbook. So um, let's see. So this is when I first started learning Japanese and I was trying to write some Japanese stuff. So we went to Singapore first and then I had the passenger card. I took a spare one. Wow, just for that. Um, there's a picture of Eric and I. Oh, we were so young. I did some shopping as well in Singapore. Here, oh, I kept the Tokyo Metro guy. Picture of the plane, Forever 21. Pictures. Oh, I had Yoshinoi. That was the first meal I ever had in Japan. And then I had Lawson 100. This is the last page I did and then I end up giving up. So 
This is ah uh, my friend Senna. Um, she was actually a high school friend. She's a singer in Japan. She had a gig, so we went along to the gig, and then I saved like oh my, I literally saved all the receipts. So I went to oh wow I saved oh okay so I think that what happened was we bought the tickets. It screwed up and we didn't need them in the end, so I just kept it anyway. And this is just like shopping I did. What is this? Um, short koto. So this is a short coat I bought. Um, I don't remember what coat it was. This is where I started giving up on making the scrapbook. So I only did like two pages. This would be the 14th of January. Um, this is 2011, so seven years ago, guys. So this is when we went to Disney Sea, and we purchased two days for two people. And that was $200, wow, that was expensive. I think it's probably gone up now. So we kept the Tokyo Disney Sea guide because my boyfriend and I both went to Disney Sea and Disneyland the first time. If you guys only have time to go to one theme park, I recommend Disney Sea, it's more fun. And then this one here is when we went to Tokyo Disneyland. So I kept all the guides, literally all of my shopping. <laughs> oh, my ticket is here too. The two day passport, so Disney Sea and then Disneyland. Over here is my friend Senna again, she did another gig, so we went along to support her. Um, I don't know what we did this day. Looks like we just went to a shrine, this looks like Meiji Jingu. Land Tower Sky Garden. Ah, uh, we went to Yokohama this day. So Senna drove us to Yokohama and we had a chill day there. Seriously guys, I had saved like all of these Forms are uh, KFC and my fortune. I only got medium fortune. Let me read it and see if it came true Let's see the moon is shining clearly in the sky without little cloud fog and mist covers the moon hiding our sight until now Rather than think over the others others may leave you though I always want everyone to be peace Misfortune and sadness will come you against your desire Right. Your request will not be granted. The patient will not recover soon. The lost article is very hard to find. The person you wait for will not come. Building a new house and removal are not well always. Stop starting a trip. Marriage and employment should be stopped. That sounds like bad fortune. That does not sound like medium fortune. Love the English. I think this is from Asakusa, right? Yeah, Asakusa, the Sensoji temple. Um, we went to Venus Fort this day. This is on the 19th of January 2011 and we went to Kitty Land, I guess. This is on Daiba. Here, what did we do here? I guess I did some shopping in this store. Oh, I don't remember. Um, so I think we left Tokyo this day because this is from Kaosan Tokyo Annex. I stayed in the hostel here. Um, maybe I can do a review on it later, but I didn't really like that hostel to be honest. Um, yes, then here we went to Osaka. And then, what is this? Okay, a little bit easier to show you guys the stuff. So this one here is a map of Osaka. I'm pretty sure I just got these at the train stations and stuff. So guys, um, if you are wondering where I got these from, I don't remember. It was like seven years ago. You probably can get them for free at um, train stations and tourist centers, I guess. Back then, I picked up every single pamphlet, every single map that I could find because smartphones weren't a thing back then. I remember this day, kind of. So my friend Aimi, uh, you may have seen her in my previous Japan vlogs when I went to Osaka recently. Um, so we met up and then she made Japanese names for everyone. So we were traveling with a group of five people. Mine is Karen. So yeah, that's really nice of her. She made kanji for us as well. I kept the tissue paper, which I mean, it's cute, right? At least I have some memories of the trip. Uh, we went to the Osaka Aquarium. So I have my ticket and Eric's ticket from the Osaka Aquarium. Postcards, I don't remember. Maybe like we got them for free. So we got one each. So maybe Eric, I think what happened was Eric gave me all of his stuff because he said that I can keep it. For my scrapbook, I don't know why I have so many of these, but I think what happened was my friends grabbed one each and then at the end of it they gave it to me so I can keep it for the scrapbook. And I bought something. Ah, oh, I bought my Japanese dictionary. I was like, what did I buy that was $200? But yeah, I bought my Japanese dictionary, the Casio. Um, I don't have it here, but yeah, it's a really good dictionary. Oh, I have a Subway voucher thing that I kept. Some of these things, I wonder why I kept it. Ooh! Round one club card. 
I was looking for this because if you go to round one, if you have a club card, you get cheaper rates. Honestly speaking, I don't think I can be bothered carrying around another card, so keep it in there. Ah, uh, this is a No My Car uh, train pass. Now this one is called the Eco Card now. So every weekend you can pay 600 yen and you can ride as many subways as you want. I'm not showing you guys everything that I have because this video is going to go on forever. I also went to the Floating Garden Observatory and this is in Osaka, the uh, sky building thing. I went to Kyo Mizu Temple, kept my tickets and then I've got a bunch of pamphlets. Kyoto City Bus, how to ride it. Now if you guys go to Kyoto, I recommend you get the bus pass and then uh, travel around using that because the bus pass is like 500 yen which is 5 bucks you can ride as many buses as you want and one bus ride is about 250 yen so if you ride two buses you make the money back anyway and yeah it's a great way to sightsee it goes to pretty much all the touristy destinations yes ah oh, I found the bus pass this is a bus pass that we bought this is Suzumushi temple we went because one of our friends recommended the temple so decided to go ah then I went to Hiroshima so we took the bullet train, no we took the bus down to Hiroshima, the night bus. So this is just a map of the city I guess. And this is a map to go back to our hostel I believe. Here we went to the atomic bomb dome, Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. And the entry fee was only 50 yen which is 50 cents. Then I took the bullet train to Shizuoka. So I actually kept this. I went to high school the next day and looks like they gave me information on Tokugawa Ieyasu and it's kind of funny because back then I probably didn't know what this was about but two years ago I did a Japanese TV show in Japanese it was probably one of the most challenging things I had to do but uh, we talked about Tokugawa Ieyasu and that was the main theme of the TV show so I had to study so much like I had to read all of these things in Japanese and try and like understand um, the history behind it because we went to all of the places that he really liked and the places that he spent a lot of his life in so yeah that was one of the most challenging things I had to do but that's not uh, the point of this video, the teachers took us around to all the sightseeing places in Shizuoka, so that was really nice. Some information about calligraphy, baseball cards, I think this is from the teachers they gave it to us. Uh, this is probably like notes I wrote in class because um, I actually had to attend some of the classes. Obviously I didn't really have to, um, you know, do the classes properly, but I tried my best. I don't know what this, oh, I don't know what this is about, but I tried doing some Japanese on it. I don't know if what I did was correct or not, but yeah. Uh, this is some calligraphy stuff, so they wrote down some characters that we can write and copy. So I wrote love, then we had some English lessons, so hi girl, hi, do you want to look at some old, really old um, paper? Okay, you can sleep here. Look guys, isn't she so precious? Oh, you're such a little precious girl. We went, oh, we went to the Gundam and then for some reason I received a packet of tissues and I kept the packet of tissues. And then, oh, my host sister made this card for me. Oh, so cute. Oh, so for our, um, graduation kind of thing we had to do a song so they gave us a CD so we can practice a song we sung the song Sekai ni hitotsu dake no hana these are the song lyrics and I remember that I had to sing a verse by myself uh, but I don't really remember which one I sung ah and then this day I remember this day so I had the graduation ceremony thing and then I left Shizuoka to go back to Tokyo so I left a day earlier because um, it was Valentine's Day and my boyfriend booked a hotel for me so my boyfriend didn't go along to this um, exchange because he wasn't part of the um, exchange program when it happened in Australia so what happened was Japanese students came to Australia and then we took care of them and they stayed at our house and then we swapped so when I went to Japan I would stay at the girls house that stayed at my place so Eric didn't take part in that so because of that he didn't come to the um, tour now Eric booked a hotel 
hotel in Tokyo. And back then, like I said, no smartphones, it was hard to communicate. But I did have a Japanese phone, and a Japanese phone is like one of those really old flip phones. You couldn't do anything with this, guys. You can only just message people, that's it. And like, it was so old that you couldn't even play Snake on it, like there was nothing. So I remember this was really stupid, but we had five people and we bought two phones. So we assumed that we'll always be together and we may separate sometimes, but we'll always be together so it'll be alright. So we only got two phones. Now Eric and I screwed up because we separated and then we had to meet back in Tokyo Station. Because it was Valentine's Day, Eric booked the new Otani, which is like a nice five-star hotel in Tokyo for Valentine's Day and it was going to be our first Valentine's Day together so I think that's why he wanted to go all out. He told me to meet him in Tokyo Station, he knew what train I was going to take so he knew what time I was going to get off the train. Now we were noob to Japan, we didn't realize that Tokyo Station was so big and there were so many exits. He told me just to exit from the bullet train towards the Marino Uchi line so I did that. Little did we know that I went out, I think the north exit, he was at the south exit. We were lost. He didn't have a phone. Now I had a phone, so I sent him an email. So in Japan, people don't really use SMS, they use emails more. So I sent Eric an email to his Gmail saying, hey, I'm waiting at this exit, where are you? Um, I was hoping that he was still at the hotel so he can check his phone. Unfortunately, he was not at the hotel. Um, he was running around Tokyo Station trying to find me. It took like two hours. It was also snowing that day really heavily and Eric was like running around Tokyo Station trying to find me. I had a massive suitcase. I was waiting for him. I couldn't find him so in the end I was so tired I just sat down on the floor. I was like, stop this. Meanwhile Eric was running around and eventually he found me around 10 p.m. So we took the train back and yeah we were supposed to go have a nice fancy dinner and that didn't happen because all the restaurants were closed so we ended up having two minute noodles in a five star hotel. That's the memory of uh, my first Valentine's Day with Eric. So this, I kept the receipt of the hotel. Anyway it was still nice, he booked for two nights so the second night was a lot nicer than the first night but yeah that's what happened. Our noob mistake in Japan. And then I think after this was like our last few days in Japan and I remember during the trip I was very very stingy, I didn't want to spend any money so I bought a lot of cash with me to Japan and I was so stingy guys, I would not pay like more than 10 bucks for a meal and then at the end of the trip I was like hey I got a lot of money left so I decided to splurge and spend all of the money on shopping now in hindsight thinking about it that was a dumb idea I should have just saved the money but I didn't think I would go back to Japan again anytime soon I thought this was going to be the uh, last time I'm gonna go back to Japan for like maybe five years or so. So because of that, I just decided to spend all my money. Um, I've got a bunch of random stuff. Maybe the stuff I didn't put into order, but I found this. I actually might use this for a video because a lot of people want more information about traveling to Japan. So I might keep this for a video. I was very organized back then. I kept everything. Wow. Okay. And that concludes my first trip. To Japan. Sorting through my old clothes and Yuki has found a spot to sit in. You like it? Nice and comfortable? <laughs> we took her out and then she wanted to get back in again. <laughs> it's nice and comfortable, lots of clothes in there for you to sit on. Alright, I found my camera charger. I also have a whole box of um, stuff, it's overflowing, but I'm actually going to be donating all these clothes. So the thing is, I do have way too many clothes, and yes, I'm going to be selling some of them on Depop. So I've got a few boxes of stuff over there, which I will put on Depop uh, when I have some time. But for now, all of these clothes, they're going to be donated um, to the Salvation Army, so I'm going to drop these off. Okay, so now it's like dinner time, so I spent the whole time cleaning up with my sister and we ended up cleaning up a lot of the stuff. The thing is when I left Japan, I shipped back all of my stuff from Tokyo and I kind of regretted it. I wish I chucked stuff away because I have way too many boxes with stuff that I don't even look at anymore. Goodbye. I miss you. I'll see you soon. Oh, little girl. Sorry, my hair's in the way, isn't it? Oh, so sweet. <laughs> Bye, Yuki. I have to go now. I miss you. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. One hand. <laughs> Thank you. You tried. I love you. Bye bye. Parked my car and now 
I am heading down to the restaurant. Should be down there somewhere. This is the thing about Perth, it's so quiet. So different from Japan. I think I'm here. This place right here. I signed them. I was like walking around like, which way are I'm yeah. assuming right. And I was it's like, so hard to find. Yeah. Henry Summers. Is this new? I think so. Okay, yeah, yeah that for one. And then we've got a salmon. Nice. That oh. looks so good. So we got Food's here. Well, there's no, there's no sushi. I like how it's really thinly sliced. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Yeah, because it's here. Chips make you mean everything. So we are at Whisk Creamery and we are ordering some dessert. What should I order? So they do have the taiyaki here, but I don't know if I want that. It's really big. Ooh, milkshakes. Taiyaki. Classic taiyaki. You can choose two flavors. I might get matcha, matcha and salted caramel. Tapayaki. Yeah. Oh, you guys also got that. Nice. Oh, you got strawberries on it. That's nice. Yeah, oh, nice. I should have gotten that. Yay! Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> oh, really nice. oh wow. Next place. The friends are going dessert hopping, so next place now. Looks nice. Buttermilk. Blueberry. This is so pretty. I'm finding like all these new places that I didn't know about before. Alright, so we were gonna go dessert hopping and we were gonna go to one more place, but it was just too much ice cream, guys. I think like I had enough for tonight. So my friends and I decided maybe let's just go home. So I'm gonna drive home now. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here just because when I go home I need to um, edit some videos. Um, also, Eric's at home as well, so I'm gonna spend some time with him. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next vlog. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Also follow me on Twitch if you haven't yet because I'll be live streaming on there. You guys can just chill and hang out with me. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.